What's going on everybody? Jason here and today I've got this very very nice looking 2021 Dodge Durango GT and of course as you can see this is the newly redesigned and you know just the refreshed look inside and out uh, for the Dodge Durango trims. If you haven't checked out my Dodge Durango Hellcat and RT video I'll link them up above. Be sure to check those out and then come back to this one just to see the differences if you are interested in getting a Dodge Durango GT like this. And this particular one does have a ton and a ton of upgraded features but what you get standard with the Dodge Durango GT if you do not get any you know extra optional features is you'll get the 20 inch silver wheels which right now obviously you'll see black I'll cover why that is exactly uh, you get the 3.45 rear axle ratio of course that's just standard six speakers standard speakers 8.4 inch touchscreen LED lighting in the front LED fog lights park rear sensors for assist uh, power driver and power passenger seating front heated seats heated steering wheel power liftgate and second row heated seats now let's go over what is different about this particular one starting things off in the front it'll look exactly like how i showed a video of the dodge Durango rt everything is pretty much the same you get the nice uh refresh kind of a look you get fog lights obviously on both sides and then your led headlamps um obviously which look really really nice compared to the older uh, generation ones you get an optional performance hood that you can get uh if you don't you will not get this type of a hood this is an upgradable feature and like I mentioned how these wheels were black, because this GT has the black top package, you'll get your black 20 inch wheels, black side mirrors, which you see, and then the black GT badging in the rear. And of course, looking at it from the side, it's exactly identical to obviously the RT and the Durango Hellcat. Um, just the difference between those two uh, models and this one will just be compared to the, you know, the engine size, uh, the power, and of course your features that you can get, which you can't obviously get on this one. So as for the wheels, because this has the black top package, you'll get the 20 inch black aluminum wheels. If you do not get the black top package, they will just be normal silver wheels. And coming to the rear of the Durango G you can see you also get your blacked out Dodge logo in the tail bar right there um, typically without the black top package that will not be blacked out this comes blacked out as well the Durango logo and of course your GT logo as part of the black top package and I just love this light bar and how it looks especially at night and of course this does have your dual uh, exhausts on both sides which are painted in kind of like a silver aluminum uh, touch. And then you've got your trailer tow package right underneath this cover right there. Typically, you will not get this, obviously, if you do not want it. Um, but why wouldn't you with this vehicle? This is an upgradable feature. And of course, in the bumpers, you can see the rear uh, sensors right there. And because this has the 3.6 liter V6, which is standard on the GT models, you're able to tow about 6,200 pounds when obviously you are equipped with the right equipment. And if you go ahead and open up the lift gate, this is standard with this package. You get the power lift gate, which is very, very convenient. In the back, you've got a decent amount of room. now keep in mind that this you can obviously with the durangos you can get them either six passenger or seven passenger this is a six passenger which i'll cover in a second um you've got a little bit of storage on this side and right under this here once you lift this up you've got a decent amount i guess you can put like groceries or small things that you want to put away in privacy and there you've got your emergency roadside stuff like your jack and all of that stuff you've also got a 12 volt adapter back here and then of course grocery hooks uh and all whatnot and then of course your power tailgate uh close button so you press it and it shuts down as for the durango gt key it's very very traditional to any other key um you got your unlock lock you've got your power lift gate remote start panic and then dodge on the back there so this does come with standard keyless entry so if you press this button right here it will lock the durango for you have the key with you and just place your hand underneath and it will unlock the vehicle for you to open up the lift gate all you're going to do is double tap and of course it's going to open for you if you want to shut it right down double tap and it'll just start shutting for you to hear what this bad boy sounds like you're going to double tap give it a second and it comes to life 
As for the engine, like I just mentioned, this is the 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar engine, a very, very famous engine known for, you know, a Jeep and all of that stuff, but you also get it in the Durangos. This will give you 295 horsepower with 260 foot pound of torque. This is a eight speed automatic transmission system. Absolutely beautiful, but if you want the Hemi and all of that, you gotta step it up when it comes to the trim levels. And like the vents I showed you uh, with the performance hood, these are functional. And coming into the rear of the Durango, you can see very, very nice as it's all blacked out with this special leather right here, which, you know, it looks very, very nice, especially on the hand rest. Um, and then you've got your silver stitching right there with a little bit of storage room down here with your cup holders. And you've got this nice finished material uh, piece, what you want to call it, which goes along the whole vehicle inside and it just looks very, very premium. This does have the upgraded nine Alpine speakers. Typically, if you do not get that, you'll just get the standard six speakers directly from the factory. As we enter the rear, you can see this is the six passenger seating. You've got two captain chairs and then of course space at the back, which I'll show you. Now the whole interior is fully, fully blacked out. Looks absolutely stunning with this silver uh, stitching that goes all the way around in the seats. Behind both the driver and passenger seating, you've got kind of like a netting storage place. You can put small things in there on both sides. In the center here, you've got vents, of course. You've got a 115 volt plug, two USB ports, and then of course these rear seats, the second row is heated seats. And in the center here, you've got kind of like a small cup holder section here, and then a little bit of whatever you wanna put, I guess, storage or what you can uh, right in the center. And to fold these seats down to access the rear seats, it's just like the RT and the Hellcat. You're gonna pull this piece here, which is gonna fold the seats forward and then you're gonna pull this red strap all the way up, which brings the seat up, and you have direct access to go to these two seats in the rear. And of course, you've got two more cup holders, of course, on both sides, why wouldn't you? And just looks very, very nice. And of course, you do have dual control for the rear passengers, as you can see. This is a must, of course. Coming to the front driver's side, again, it's very, very, same layout as the rear. You've got this nice material that goes all the way along here. Some storage with cup holders, speakers here, and right up here, and then your window controls right there. The driver's side is memory seating, which is an absolute must. And of course, you've got all black seating up front, why not, with the silver stitching. Now these seats are very, very comfortable. They're very, very plush. Um, the the Durangos, they all remind me of having like a lazy boy type of a seating uh, situation, but very, very comfy. Um, both seats, of course, like I mentioned, are power seats. Right below that, you've got this nice Dodge logo in that silver aluminum uh, finish. Underneath, you've got your foot pedals, parking brake, and then your hood latch release right there. Right above that, you've got your lighting controls with your fog lights and then your dimmer for the interior. This steering wheel is manual adjustable. And as soon as you enter into the Durango GT, you've got this nice fully blacked out dashboard. It's kind of a weird feeling because it is a little bit squishy. So I'm guessing it's like somewhat of a small layer of leather or some sort of thing like that. But underneath it's obviously hard plastic, but you do have this nice material up top. Um, you've got your speaker in the center there. And then of course on the other passenger door, you've got speakers on both sides, like the driver's side. And I like how they did uh, this shiny, uh, I guess you can say gloss black trim around the vents, which looks absolutely beautiful. And it covers on into here through the screen over there and right down there. Very, very nicely done. As for the steering wheel itself, very, very nice. It's It has that leather touch feel to it uh, with obviously black stitching. And then you've got this nice granite, dark, dark granite type of a material, which looks really, really nice. And it breaks out the steering wheel with it being fully covered in leather. Um, you've got your Dodge logo, of course, right in the middle with some silver outlining. You've got your controls over here for the center gauge cluster, which I'll cover. Bluetooth settings, and then your cruise control settings right there. And even on the GT models, you do get paddle shifters on both sides. And to the left of the steering wheel, you've got controls for your indicators, high beam, and your windshield washer fluid and your windshield wipers. Now in the center gauge cluster, you've got, you know, a very, very nice looking gauge cluster with red outlining, of course, and all of that stuff. This looks really, really nice in my opinion. Um, there's a bunch of different options that you can kind of flick through in the center here. For example, you can check your tire pressure, uh, your gas mileage and whatnot, trip information. There's a ton, a ton of options, just like any other vehicle that you can kind of flick through and, you know, have your own 
screen right in front of you, whichever you prefer. On the center handrest, it is fully leather with the silver stitching again, which goes all around the vehicle. If we open up this section here, actually, let's open up the first section. You've got a little bit of uh, storage room in here to put a phone or your wallet or whatnot. But if we go ahead and close that and we open up the main section, you've got you know a decent amount of room in here to put whatever you need to. And then you've also got a 12 volt adapter inside there as well. In front of that, you've got a small space obviously for your key. Cup holders up front, these are illuminated at night, which is very, very nice and a very cool touch. Uh, you've got your gear selector. You've got a decent amount of storage right down here to put, you know, a small, I guess you can say iPad or a tablet or a phone or whatever. And then right above that, you've got some USB ports, type C, and then your aux cable right there. Next to the steering wheel, of course, push to start, why not? And then you have your trailer brake control because this is equipped with the uh, tow package. Right above your storage with the USB ports, you've got a bunch of buttons, of course. Uh, right down here, you've got your parking sensors, traction control, eco mode, sport mode, and then this is your stop start, you know, if you at a red light and stuff and your vehicle shuts off to save some gas and stuff, you can turn it on and off from there. You've got your heating and cooling uh, typical buttons right here with the volume knobs and whatnot. Right above that, you've got your heated seats, uh, both sides, and then your heated steering wheel. As for this beautiful, beautiful touchscreen, this is the newly refreshed, the Uconnect 5 uh, 10.1 inch touchscreen that you now get in the Durangos. Um, if you do not choose this upgradable option, you will be stuck with the typical Uconnect 4 8.5 inch touchscreen, which I don't think you want, but this is a much better option if you were to get any option out of all of the ones that are available, this would be my go-to. So a quick rundown, if you haven't seen my RT video or my Hellcat video for the Durango, I go through this whole screen setup, uh, but I'll quickly run through it with you right now. So you've got your home button, you got a bunch of little things that you can move around here. You've got media section, obviously your radio, Sirius XM and all of that. Comfort, again, you can use the touch screen right here or the actual buttons down here. You've got your navigation, of course, that comes with this. Very, very nice and very, very responsive. Very, very cool. You've got your phone settings here if you have it connected. Uh, vehicle information right here. You can actually fold the headrest at the rear and then you can take a look at your rear view camera as well. And from there, you can go into your settings which you can further fine tune your you know, safety and driving assist, your profiles and whatnot. And then you've got a button for apps which again, it'll have like Alexa and whatnot. You can have your favorites, your most recent. You can go through it from categories, media, comfort, navigation, and all of that stuff, or just see all of them. And all of these buttons up here are like, you know, they drop down, they bring up a menu once you press them. So for example, if I press this Wi-Fi bar right here, it's gonna bring up this 4G Wi-Fi hotspot, you know, setup that you can do within your vehicle. So very, very cool and a ton of different things to go through. Right above that, you've got your dimmable mirror with the SOS assist and the power button, of course. Um, above that, you've got interior lighting right here. You can program your garage door and then for your sunroof options, you can vent and open all of that stuff. Uh, and then your uh, trunk release right here for your tailgate. You can open and close it. And of course, this does have the upgradable sunroof. This again is a must just like this. If we swing over to the passenger side, again, with that nice, nice, comfy, lazy boy style seats are very, very plush and nice. You've got a little bit of netting here on both sides. You can put like, I don't know, your phone or uh, a key or something. You've got a another 12 volt adapter right here. And then in, in the glove department, you've got a decent amount of room to put whatever you need to. And you get more of this trim that I showed you on the rear doors and the front doors that goes all across. So there's different variations that you can get for the interior. You can obviously get this full black on black full leather seating. You can also get the full leather black with light frost or you can get, you know, a much premium one, which would be your suede perforated black on black seats. And here's a window sticker for the 2021 Dodge Durango GT. You can see all the specs here, um, your standard features, and then your upgraded, the package you have, and then your upgraded features, which this pretty much has every single feature. You don't have to get all of these, but that's totally up to you. And then of course the price, this is in Canadian, like I mentioned in my previous video, minus any dealer discounts and manufacturing discounts. So it will be less than this. And that's it for this beautiful 2021 Dodge Durango GT. Let me know in the comments down below if you love this or if you hate it.